talk about your own people, you Anglo weirdo, and leave the Spanish alone. Guys, I hate to admit it, but this guy totally clocked me. I am 50% Anglo. Here's the interesting thing about genetics, okay? My last name, Kilker, I had always known had Germanic origins, but I didn't ever really know that it was like Anglo or Anglo-Saxon or whatever. My 23andMe shows that I am 24% British and Irish from North Central England. 20% German from the Teutoburg Forest region and the Westphalian Highlands, and then another 16.7% of broadly Northwestern European. But here's where things get more interesting. 23andMe shows you your haplogroups, and my paternal haplogroup is RL48. Haplogroup RL48 is a subclade of the major haplogroup R1BU106, which, as you can see here, is the Germanic line of the R1B, the other side being Celtic. The Celtic haplogroup would be associated with R1B, P312, and all other subclades of that major haplogroup. Now, when it comes to England, a lot of people are either of the Celtic descent or Anglo-Saxon descent, and it really just depends on when your ancestors got there. The Celts arrived in the British Isles much earlier than the Anglo-Saxons, and these would later become the Roman Britons who were under Roman rule until the Anglo-Saxons showed up around the 4th or 5th century AD. So my paternal haplogroup RL48 seems to pop up around 1800 to 1500 BC, and this would later become the people known as the Frisians, the Angles, the Saxons, and even possibly the Normans. But what's interesting is that the Angles, Saxons, Jutes, Frisians, these were all people that inhabited the areas of like Northern Germany, Denmark, and the Netherlands. Which, in the case of my 16% broadly Northwestern ancestry and 20% English and 24% German, like it kind of makes sense because the people would have come from Germany and then ended up in Britain. What I'm wondering is why is it split? Because it obviously goes deeper than just like my grandma was English and my grandpa was German because that wasn't even necessarily the case. But it's like the origins of the genetics come from those two places. Where are they splitting it? When are they splitting it? Because the paternal haplogroup goes all the way back to the Yamnaya migrations of 3000 BC. You can trace the RL48 haplogroup to the U10C of the Germanic tribes, and you can trace that even further to the greater R1B haplogroup that was the Proto-Indo-Europeans in Western Europe. So at what point is 23andMe determining some of my ancestry is from this region of Germany, some of it is from this region of England, and then the rest of it is broad and they can't quite calculate it. What is going on here? Because I actually don't know. If you do know, please let me know in the comments. I would love to learn more about this. Uh, but to the person who commented this, yeah, you absolutely nailed it. I am Anglo. It seems, it seems I'm Anglo.